Hey, how you guys doing? Hopefully you're all enjoying this wonderful Tuesday morning. Today, um, before I get into my poem, uh, I just want to talk about a little something. Uh, the p past two days I went down to, to visit my friend, best friend and roommate, Jimmy Robertson. And he's a absolutely phenomenal person and human being. So much fun to be around, so warm, so friendly and inviting. And I think anyone that really meets him kind of feels the same and just, you know, really connects. And the reason, he's kind of also the reason why I'm going to be doing this specific poem. And it's because last year, you know, I, I roomed with Jamie, and first off, Jamie, he is gay. And I know, oh my god, like, a straight, a straight boy would choose to live with a gay, yes. And I'm so fucking happy that I did. Uh, even before, like, when he signed up to be my roommate, he sent me a Facebook, you know, and listed like some of the things that I, you know, I should know, or things that you know, just so like we can connect a little bit before we actually met each other in, in school. And one of the things he said, he's like, I, I just want to say this. I hope it's not awkward, but I'm, I'm gay, and I hope that's not. And, and I was like, Jamie, in no way whatsoever would that make me feel un uncomfortable at all. You know, I honestly, I am a person who accepts anyone, absolutely almost anyone. I can understand, you know, where different people come from. And last year was just, it was phenomenal. It was, it was one of the best years I've had at Bridgewater State. And I have to thank Jamie for that because it's because of him I had just so much fun. And I got to meet so many other people, you know, such as my friends now, Dion and John, Danny, Tommy, Lauren, you know, Sophia, Amy, and just all these people, you know, who are within like this GLBT community that we have. And they're just. They're amazing. That there's that's the only other way to describe it, and it upsets me that there's so many people out there who are quick to judge them just because of sexual orientation, which honestly isn't even a choice. I don't get why people don't understand that at all. I, I wish people would, you know, just learn their shit and stop being ignorant. But they're just they're absolutely beautiful people, and I love all of them. And I just it, you know it hurts me to see people think that their relationships are ugly and how they, you know, interact with the people that they love. Because I look at, you know, Jamie with, you know, his boyfriend and Lauren with her girlfriend Alice and Sophia, you know, with Amy. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful relationships. You can tell how much they feel for the other person that they're with. You know, for example, Lauren with her girlfriend Alice. Uh, Lauren is a talented, like, amazing individual. And at, sometimes she can be a little quiet and shy, but when she's with Alice, she just, she blooms and it's... I can't even describe how phenomenal it is to see that and be like, and I just keep thinking to myself, holy fucking shit. I wish I could fucking find that, you know, in, in someone, someone that just makes me feel like alive and, and bursting with just energy and so happy to you know, be around them. And it's just, I feel like if other poets were, were to look at them, they would finally figure out how to write the perfect love poem. I'm, I'm not kidding. I just, their relationship is phenomenal. and. It just, it really hurts to see people think that they're disgusting or they're any less human than, uh, like, myself or other people who are straight. I actually think it's, if anything, it's people that are straight that are, would be, like, I would consider almost less human at times than, you know, gays and, you know, homosexuals, lesbians that are out there. I think, if anything, we should have learned from all the, the stupid shit in terms of, you know, racism and slavery from our past but unfortunately I don't think we really have and we can kind of continue this stream of sort of being ignorant to and lacking understanding of other people around us and I think that's what keeps us even from progressing as a society and a civilization but this poem I wrote for I was asked to write a poem for an anti-bullying event that was going on on campus and I wrote this just around a little after the time that those few people uh, actually took their lives because they were being made fun of for being homosexual. And this poem is called Oh Sweet Laramie, and it's kind of, you know, based around what happened to Matthew Shepard in comparison to what, you know, happened recently in the past year. And I hope you guys really listen to this. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you really, really take something away, because honestly, shit's gotta change. So hopefully you guys enjoy. It's called Oh Sweet Laramie. O oh, sweet Laramie, how you have come to haunt the minds of the 21st century. Sick slain from blunt words to the brainstem and deep lacerations in the soul. Tied to our fences of prejudice, scarecrows to ward off those who feel the same. 
tied with words like gays are a disgrace to society or we need a homosexual holocaust. Oh sweet Laramie, how you've come to haunt the minds of the 21st century, reminding our children that we, they do not need pistols or fists to torture just pure words of scared, confused, misplaced rage brought down by the fight of two wolves and one poor shepherd. Oh sweet Laramie, if only you had learned, if only you had learned your history, remembered the blood spilled on the fields of the Confederacy, the smell of attempt extinction in the air of Auschwitz, the bruises upon the skin of Gandhi, the march of Martin Luther King. But yet somehow, ignorance still reigns supreme. Oh sweet Laramie, how you haunt the minds of the 21st century. And maybe with time, we can undo thee. I really, got, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I know this was a little short, but I just that this is this is what I, I felt, and hopefully, you guys kind of take some time, listen to this, and, and think about kind of what's going on in the world and how maybe you can help change and get us to maybe progress as a people into the next you know a few years and decades and centuries, and just if. Take some time if you're one of those people that might be uncomfortable around, you know, you know, gays and, and lesbians in that community. Just, you know, if you see someone in class or in the hall, take some time, say hello to them, talk to them. Then maybe you'll see that, hell, shit, I was wrong. These people are actually really, really phenomenal and just like me. Uh, so that's kind of it for the day. Uh, to my friends out there, you know, Jamie and Dion and Tommy and Lauren, everyone. I fucking love you guys. You guys are phenomenal. Please just keep being you and don't, don't ever, ever fucking change. You're wonderful the way you are and I love you to death. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and thank you so much.